This is a little bit nerdy topic. You can watch it only if you want to know more about how the Bluetooth works on the board because Microbit has the implementation of Bluetooth 4.0 and it is a bit different than the classic Bluetooth which is only a serial protocol that is, is simply a radio communication that allows you to transmit data between devices. Bluetooth 4.0 has this so-called services and we can access them directly. You can see that uh, the microbit has accelerometer service, button service, IOP service, LED service, temperature service, and magnetometer service, and the UART here as well that we are using before. And what these services do is that they allow direct access from the app that wants to connect to the microbit board via Bluetooth to this uh, specific function of the board. So for example, we can only take the accelerometer service and launch it in the Bluetooth library. Then we don't need this on data received. And I can upload this code to the microbit board. So I'm simply letting other apps access this Bluetooth accelerometer service, which means that other apps will be able to retrieve signals from the accelerometer sensors. And I will download it to the board. And now I would like to show you how easy it is, it is actually to build web apps that communicate uh, over Bluetooth with the microbit board. And of course, what I will use for this is AI chatbot. So, so let's just use chatbot GPT, the most default model by now 4.0. And I will use uh, this prompt. Write me a web app that connects with a button over web Bluetooth with BBC microbit board to the accelerometer service uh, and then retrieves X and Y rotation from the board and display it, displays it with sliders. Give me HTML, JavaScript and CSS code in one file so it will be easy to copy. And let's see what he comes up with. So you can see that the chatbot generated quite basic short uh, web page for me. A little styling, basic uh, bare bone HTML and a little script that connects to this ID. This is the ID of this uh, service on the microbit board. Uh, we don't have to pay attention what this all means. Let's just check out if it works. I copy it and open in the code pen editor. It will be the easiest way to, to launch it. I paste it all in the HTML window and I have my app here. So let's see if it works. Click connect to the microbit. You see that it is uh, being connected. Let's click pair. Okay. And you see that in one go, it was able to generate a web interface to my microbit board that could that can display uh, the rotation angle from the microbit board as our HTML website. And this is exactly the way that I created all of the uh, web apps on the Cardboard Robots website. And not always it will work uh, as, as seamlessly as here, but when you encounter any problems and something doesn't work, you can simply open the uh, cons JavaScript console here and any error in the code, it, it will be displayed over here. So you can simply cop copy it, uh, paste it to the, and tell him to fix it. So coding as a skill really it becomes something of the past uh, sooner or later, because we really do not have to understand uh, what this all means, as long as we are able to know if it works properly in the end. Uh, let's give him one more take. And my second prompt was, Okay, it works now. Now, instead of sliders, give me a rotating 3D cube and make the app look more fancy. I always like to uh, challenge the, the chatbot with this kind of open statements, like make it look better, whatever this means, make it look more fancy. Uh, let's see what he comes up with. I have the code, let's copy it to code pen. Okay, so I have my app, let's connect to the microbeat. And let's see if it works. Okay, you see that uh, I have a cube, it's in 3D. It's a bit flat, we should, uh, it would be good if it had some shading or strokes, but it works, it rotates as my, as my accelerometer here on the microbit board. And it looks a bit better, he, col he added some color to the background and to the to the button. So you can see the pattern. You can go on with creating such apps uh, easily with a ch chatbot with free version of AI that is widely available, no problems, and creating digital products even with physical interfaces right now seems as easy as never before.